Alright, here we have a bit of a beast of a level 2 functional skills exam question. I can see straight off that it's worth 6 marks, so there's going to be a lot of work that we need to do. Ray has a printing business. He gets an order to print 500 tickets for an outdoor event. Each ticket must be a rectangle, 9.1cm by 4.9cm. Ray is going to print the tickets on sheets of card. Each sheet of card is 297mm by 210mm. Ray needs to leave a 12mm margin around the edges of each sheet of card. He knows he cannot use the margins for the tickets. Ray has 60 sheets of card. Does he have enough sheets for the 500 tickets? OK, so the first thing we need to do is take off this 12mm margin from the top and bottom, the left and the right. In my experience, people really often miss off the fact that you need to take it away from the top and bottom, even though it's on the diagram there. So how tall is the piece of card that we can actually use for the tickets? Well, it should be 297mm, but we need to take off 12mm from the top, and we need to take off 12mm from the bottom. So really, it's not 297, it's 273. Okay, and across the bottom, instead of 210, we're taking off uh, 12 for the left, and we're taking off 12 for the right. So it's 186 millimeters. I'll draw that one in as well. 186 millimeters. All right. Now our cards, our tickets, need to be 9.1 centimeters by 4.9 centimeters. Now we have a problem here because these are in centimeters, whereas these are in millimeters. Now it is up to you which way you convert it, but you do need to convert them into the same units. Now personal preference, I'm going to choose to convert these into millimetres because I think it will make my life easier because uh, then I'll get rid of some decimals and that's always a good thing. So instead of 9.1 centimetres, I'm going to times that by 10 because there are 10 times as many millimetres in a, a length as there are centimetres. So times it by 10 uh, is 91, so instead of 9.1 I'm going to write that this is 91 millimetres. Okay, and instead of 4.9 centimetres, times it by 10 again, 4.9 centimetres is the same as 49 millimetres. So that's 49 millimetres. Alright, good. So I need to work out how many of these pieces of card, uh, maybe, maybe a drawing would help, uh, a little, little drawing of the pieces of card. So they're 9.1 centimetres. Uh, sorry, which we're now calling 91 millimeters uh, wide by 49 millimeters tall, something like that. And we need to know how many pieces of card that look like this we can fit into this area. Well, how about finding out how many of these I can squeeze in uh, sideways, and then how many of them I can fit upwards? That seems pretty good. Um, so to work out how many of these squares, how many of these rectangles, I can fit in across the bottom here, I'm going to take the, the width of the piece of card that I'm allowed to use, which is 186 millimeters. we worked that out before, and I'm going to divide it by 91. So what I'm doing is I'm splitting this width into sections that are 91 millimeters across, and this tells me that I can fit in two and a little tiny bit of them sideways. Now, what that actually means in real life is that I can... Uh, I'll, I'll try to do a little drawing again. What that really means is that I can fit one piece of card, one of the tickets there, I can fit another one of the tickets there, and then I've got this, this tiny little bit left over here. And if I draw it on the picture there, you can see that that's completely unusable. I can't make any tickets out of that. So, effectively, I can get two tickets side by side on my piece of card. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the height. So the height of my piece of card that I can use is 273 millimeters, and I'm going to divide that by 49. So when I press equals, that'll tell me how many 49s this piece of card is tall. In other words, how many tickets tall this piece of card is. And the answer is 5.57. So again, in real terms, that means that my piece of card is starting to look, oops, sorry, it's starting to look a bit like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, with all of this wasted up here and up here. 
So we've got two across and then this tiny little sliver down the side that's left over like that and we have five tall with this bit at the bottom left over which isn't big enough to make any card out of otherwise this number would have been six but it's five and a bit so I can get five and a bit tickets tall in my piece of card. Okay so if it's too wide if I can get two across and I can get five high then I can work out how many tickets this piece of card can fit on it altogether by saying there are two columns of five tickets so altogether that's ten cards. So in summary on this piece of card we can get ten tickets. Now how many tickets does he want? He wants 500 tickets and he has 60 sheets of card. So let's work out how many tickets he can make with 60 sheets of card. Each sheet of card can fit 10 tickets on it. So 10 tickets on every one of 60 pieces of card means he's got enough card for 600 tickets and he only wants to make 500. So does he have enough sheets? Yes he does. Good stuff. So a lot of marks there, a lot of stuff to do. but. One of the things to really watch out for in a question like this is the temptation to find the area of this sheet of card and the area of a ticket and divide one by the other to work out how many. If you work it out that way, you're not taking into account the fact that you can't do anything with all this card at the bottom. This is just offcuts. It's not the right shape or size to make any actual tickets out of. So this is the way that this question needs to be answered to get full marks. Okay, good. Good stuff.